Right now, hundreds of local volunteers are bundling up to brave the coldest night of the season so far. The annual tradition by Covenant House raises awareness and money for Chicagoans facing homelessness. Our Darius Johnson is live in the loop where they are sleeping out tonight. Darius. Joe and Erica, good evening to you both. There are 150 volunteers inside this building, inside a session right now. Some of those volunteers are local. Others have come from across the country. They are inside hearing from those who have been helped personally by Covenant House or those who have participated in this sleep out in the past. Take a look. Covenant House Illinois was founded in 2017 and offers young adults experiencing homelessness a path to independence by providing needed resources like shelter or a job to help them get back on on their feet. This year, they hope to raise $650,000 in hopes of continuing their efforts. For nearly a decade, they've held this sleep out to raise awareness and funds specifically during the month of November, which is National Homeless Youth Awareness Month. Tonight, 150 volunteers are putting themselves in the shoes of those they are helping by sleeping outside tonight, regardless of the cold, nasty weather. But think about it, if every night if someone is in house, this is what they have to go to, right? So I have my long johns, I have my scarf, I have my face mask, I have my cap, I have my gloves. Yeah, I'm ready to do some, you know, ready to put myself in the you know, best position possible so I can, you know, be in a comfortable spot as much as I can. We are here to solve the challenges and help out in any ways. So the excitement is with the people who are participating and all over Accenture. In the next hour, those volunteers will gather up their belongings from the first floor and then they will make their way to the patio right here along the Chicago River where they will be sleeping throughout the night. While some of them may not stay the entire night, others will leave around 6 a.m. in the morning Will they will reflect about what they experienced through the night and then go on about their day. So we hope they're able to stay warm throughout these temperatures. Reporting live from The Loop, I'm Darius Johnson, CBS News Chicago. Thanks, Darius.